as you can see, I have no camper on the back of my truck. And that doesn't happen very often. So when it does happen, most of the time it's not for joyriding or taking the truck and I'm staying someplace for a very long time. It usually means I need truck maintenance or something like that. And that is what is on the agenda today. I have been having some truck problems. Uh, I have a check engine light on and on my dash every once in a while I get this red lightning bolt. The best way I can explain the way the truck is acting is that to me it feels like the transmission is slipping. I stopped at uh, O'Reilly's on my trip. I guess it started happening, I don't know, I think I was in Tennessee actually when it first started happening. I don't, yeah, I don't think, it may have started in, no, it did start in Arkansas. I don't remember. I covered Arkansas pretty fast, so it started kind of jerking, and that's the best way to explain it. And so I stopped at an O'Reilly's and had them to read the codes, and it said something about a throttle sensor, and that's what it feels like. It has a problem with throttling. Um, at first I thought it was with the cruise control, um, then I tried it without the cruise and it still does it. I am in one location for at least a week because um, I'm, I'm going to assume this is going to take a few days and it's Friday. That's the earliest I could get the appointment. So they'll probably keep my truck, I don't know, I don't know how long. With all that said, I wasn't sure if I should be driving my truck or not. And yesterday, I stopped at Walmart and turned off my truck and tried to start it back about 15 minutes later and it wouldn't start. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah. At the fourth time I tried to start it, it started. And it's like something didn't engage. I came out early this morning started it so I'm on the road to the dealer and um, I am going to a Dodge dealer I wanted them to um, pretty much go over it I, with it being a diesel Cummins I really feel better at being looked at by a dealer my appointment is at 11 and it's 9 it's about a 45 minute drive to the location. So I just wanted to get the truck started early to see if it would start. Um, that would have meant I would have had to have it towed, <laughs> if not. So I'm glad about that. Uh, I'm expecting I will have to get a rent a car and that's fine. There's not, there's one not very far from the dealer and I can get them to take me over there or maybe they can give me a car. I'm blessed. I had a week's window of not any uh, anything on the agenda. So this became uh, my <laughs> project or this for this week. So it got put on the agenda. Get truck fixed. <laughs> so it happened really good. I didn't have to cancel any of my previous um, engagements um, and reservations. I'm meeting a friend in East Tennessee so I didn't want to interfere with that so the timing can have been better. So I'm still sitting in the waiting room. I've been here for three hours and still no diagnostic information yet. They said the codes were stored, they weren't active, which I don't understand that because the check engine light went off and then it came back on yesterday and so, and it was on when I got here. So that would tell me that it's an active code, but anyway, um, so I uh, brought snacks, I just had 
a few snacks and sitting here watching TV, which is really weird. We got homes. <laughs> I'm gonna wait three more hours and if nothing, or if they don't have a diagnos diagnosis and need to keep the truck, then I'm gonna go get a rental car. Good morning. <laughs> saga of my truck. <clears throat> um, it's 7.13 and I am up and out early, headed back to the Dodge dealer. And you're getting, you're going to get the watered down version. Um, I left there on Friday and you would have gotten the, uh, the rant and the spew of my um, disappointment in getting my truck fixed. So I've waited several days to talk about this. I'm headed back to the Dodge dealer because obviously it wasn't fixed on Friday. I was at the Dodge dealer most of the day and about 3.30 they came to me and said, your truck is ready. I'm like, really? What? What'd y'all do? They did nothing other than change the oil. They said they could not reproduce the issues that I was um, had brought to them. One being the red lightning bolt on the dash and I told them that that goes away every time I kill the truck. But the check engine light was on when I entered the dealer and they said that it was a stored code 600 miles ago. There wasn't anything they could do. Um, the issues weren't reproducing themselves and I said well it reproduces the red lightning bolt comes on uh, every time I drive it mostly when I'm climbing um, and the red lightning bolt is an indication of the throttle body sensor and so the check engine light was a crankshaft engine light but they didn't do anything um, to fix it so I requested <laughs> ever so not so nicely no I, I requested I just said I want an appointment on Monday and I want the sensor replaced well we just don't throw we just don't throw parts you know at at the vehicle I said well I want that part replaced because it happens every time. If that's not it, that's me. That's on me. I want it replaced. I'm paying for it. It's my sensor. <laughs> it's the labor. I want to pay for it. So we'll go from there. If they replace the sensor today and it still doesn't um, fix the issue, then I'm going to go to another dealer. Um, I haven't been happy with this one. So I will just find another one down the road. That is the short end of it. I will conclude this video with what happens today. It's going to be a good day. I feel it. And um, the sensor will get replaced. Everything will be fine. I'll be on my way. Morning. So I want to finish up the video about my truck repair. I have driven my truck several, several days. Um, since I got it out of the shop, I've probably have put maybe 150, 200 miles on it since uh, I got it out of the shop. Wanted to be sure that I drove it enough. I've driven uphill, I've driven on the highway, I've driven fast, I've driven slow. I've made it change gears. I've, you know, tried to um, put it through the trials and test before I put the truck camper back on. So with that said, I have driven, like I said, probably 200 miles, 150 miles with no reoccurring issues. So I'm going to call that throttle body sensor replacement a success, knock on wood. <laughs> it's time to put the truck camper back on and head on down the road. I am doing one last Walmart trip and we're 
we're gonna have a cookout tomorrow so I'm gonna go buy burgers and hot dogs and so it's gonna be a good time then we're going to the creek to the creek and go crawdad hunting you don't know I guess you fish for crawdads that would be wrong <laughs> for crawdadding for crawdads